Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Conquer Live and No oh, Fuck. Live and No oh, Fuck. Okay, that's a good name for the game. That's our new game. Okay. No, get out of the way. I, hey, look, I'm not the only one who jumped. Okay. Okay, that was not planned at all. That was not planned at all, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, today is the epilogue. And um, just for the record, the epilogue, which also contains the game's epilogue as part of this episode, we are going to do a little backstory behind this game, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the next game we're about to play, because it also has a very strange story behind it. It's actually by the same company that made this game. So, if you guys really enjoyed this LP, you never played this game before, or have never played the next game before, you, you might want to watch the next LP. I mean, if, even if you did play both the games, you'll, you'll love the next LP. Okay, this is the credits. You can care if you want to. I hate the music here. It just doesn't seem right in this game. So, um, it's actually kind of sad. I'm going to do a little backstory behind this game, because um, it really does deserve some... Hit Sean Pyle. Uh, I guess I have to pay attention. Um, so before we begin, I did figure out the name of the doctor. I went on Wikipedia. His name is Dr. Cripplespack. Cripplespack. Whatever you want to call him, his name is Dr. Cripplespack. It's Cripple P-A-C. It starts with a K, which I don't think Cripple does. And um, so that's just a little note there. Um, so let's start off at the very beginning of the Conquer series. This is actually a series, but this is the only game that ever got any sales and is ever actually popular. The other ones have nothing to do with this one, and as, like, an extra thing I did, they made this, like, a whole separate story. The two other games, well, actually, there are three other games. Obviously, there's Conquer's Bad Fur Day, but that's just this game. This is a remake of that game. And I'm going to go back to the very beginning. The, this game actually was released... Um, it, it's for Game Boy Color, I believe. It's called Pocket Tales. Conquers Pocket Tales. I've never played the game before. I've never managed to find a copy of the game, although if I did, I would buy it right away. Um, but it has nothing to do with this game. It is nothing related to this game. And as something really interesting, um, it's actually not even rated M. It's actually rated E. Um, it's supposed to be one of the most babyish games in the world. I went on Wikipedia for this info, by the way, so... Please excuse me if I'm wrong a little bit. But anyways, that was how the Conquer series was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a kid's game series that hopefully everyone would have played, but no one played. Um, and they were actually going to make a Nintendo 64 game called Conquer's, I believe, 12 Tales or something like that. Something along those lines. Stop going fuzzy! Anyways, and that game was, like the first game, going to be a babyish game. Uh, with all of its Mario type stuff, and it wasn't, it was gonna, it, it, I've watched beta videos, because you can add, it, someone found out how to get to the beta of the game, and by what they already had finished, it did look like a decent game, uh, like it was going to be a decent game, it had possibility, but with the uh, failed sales of the first game, they just couldn't do it, they had to scrap it, and instead, they went into work on Banjo-Kazooie instead, which is my next LP, that I will show, you guys will see how much better of a game that, you can just tell by the name of 12 Tales, Banjo-Kazooie is a much better game. And through Banjo-Kazooie, you'll also notice a lot of references to things that were going to be in 12 Tales, and actually if you look at the beta of the game, there's even pictures of the old game of it in there, but they aren't in there anymore, obviously. But if you were to hack the game, you'd be able to see those. And, well anyways, um... Later on, with this, with, and they had an idea. I guess they were smoking all the crack in the world because they thought of this game instead, and they thought something, maybe something original. They needed a character. They didn't want to make up a new person, so they just used Conker. And uh, he's actually the only character. I, I believe Barry was in it in the old ones, but from my from what pictures I've seen, she looked just like Conker, just different colored. And basically, this game was released, and that's basically all the history that um, was really revealed besides the fact that before even the Game Boy Color game was released, this is the same thing with Banjo-Kazooie, um, both Banjo and Conker both appeared in Diddy Kong Racing as playable characters before this game was even released, years before. Here's a little cutscene here, I'll go through the story. Let's watch this first. No eyes. Huh. A man of teeth. Very good. 
Stop, Davy! And that's uh, the end. And supposedly the game is supposed to like restart from your day. It's like you to replay it. Like they they don't. I actually this would have been a good point to bring it back to the very beginning of the game over again. But they don't. I don't know why they don't do that. It's a good idea. But it brings you here. This magical little place is called the main menu. So before we begin our more of our info, I just want to point out that if you go to Game 3, I'm sure you've seen it before a couple times throughout my LP. If you click this, you'll see the guy from, uh, well, you gotta look closely. You can't really see it online. You'll see the guy from that one game they made that was really horrible. I think it was called, I can't remember what it was, something with the ghoulies. You'll see that guy throwing up. And if you look up here, you'll see Banjo on top of the thing up there. You'll see his head. And I know somewhere in this game there is a Kazooie thing reference. There's a Kazooie thing. I can't. I don't remember where it is. And I believe right there in that picture, that, that newspaper picture, that's Conker in there. I can see. Something in there, I believe there's something in there. And I believe the picture, I think it's Rodent right there. So, yeah, so you see there's a lot of references to all the other rare games. They like to do that in their games for some reason. But, um, just before we begin, I want to show off that something I forgot to mention throughout this game. The characters in this game are actually all based off something, like a movie, a book, something like that. And I'm sure some of them you're obviously aware of, like the Xenomorph and all that. But there's a few of them that you probably didn't know. So, I'm going to go over those real quick. Um, just, just I'm not even going to do anything fancy with that. I'm not going to do any effects or anything. What can I say? I, at least you look up top. There's, I believe that's Mr. Pants up there. But I can never tell. I can never tell if I wanted to because it goes too fast. But you can tell. That they, and there's Banjo up there, so just be happy with that. Um, anyways, what I was saying was, um, the Great Mighty Pooh, although no one's actually sure of this one, is most likely based off of a character in Raggedy Ann. And another thing is, um, I noticed, I actually noticed this myself by how they were spelled. The teddies, which are the uh, army bad guys right there, the teddy bear dude, um, T-E-D-I-Z, you notice how it's spelled, is actually um, a ripoff of the Nazis, which I would, I actually noticed that. I, I actually didn't think about that, think twice of it. And um, I can't remember... But, um, there's some other things. I know the, uh, Haystack boss, if you haven't noticed it yet, is obviously a Terminator. Which, if you've seen that movie, it's very action-y and shit. And, um, there's also, I believe, and there's obviously the Dracula level. There's the final level, which has tons of rip-offs, by the way. And, um, I can't remember. I believe there's more. Um, but the barn level, actually, it isn't a direct rip-off at all. But the characters are supposed to be a parody of Banjo Kazooie in that level, um, with the with their everything as eyes and talks and gets killed and all that. It's supposed to make fun of Banjo Kazooie, which I'll be playing next. And if you watch this that game, then go watch the first level again. You will see the side by side comparison. And that's about all the references I can see in this game, or I've read in the internet. If anyone knows any more references or cameos or anything along those lines, please put it in the comments section below, and I will maybe have a bonus episode. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this LP, and uh, if you like what you watch, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't yet, go watch my Mario 64 and some of my other LPs. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff to watch on this channel. Um, so I also like to give special credit to Shadow Toast for co-voicing half this LP. Uh, that was really helpful having him, because otherwise no one would watch this. And um, from there, I wish everyone peace, and maybe we'll have a bonus episode. See you all 